What's up everyone, this is Matt Morozik, and I've got a bunch of review videos to do, so we're going to start off with these two little guys. And these are from Troy McDivitt. Um, if you don't know who he is, I suggest you look him up. Um, he's an incredible sculptor, super nice guy, and I own quite a few kits from him. I've yet to, I've only painted a few things that I've got from him, a couple of tournaments I've painted. But uh, I picked uh, these up at Wonderfest this past year. Um, he's, he started a new series of mini superheroes on these little bases and they're just freaking killer and cute as hell so um i'm gonna put black panther to the side for now and work on and concentrate on hulk because he's the one I actually purchased at wonderfest and um, um as i mentioned i was kind of roaming around the uh showroom a little earlier and uh i saw these but i i, I uh was uh just kind of slacking and i had to uh I didn't get. I didn't, wasn't able to get this at Wonderfest. I paid for it, and it, it showed up just the, the, the other day. Um, few, actually, about a week ago, uh, to be honest. I've been out of town, and uh, Troy sent me the Black Panther as a as a as a gift just for taking so long to get stuff out to me. So, great customer service, great sculptor, and these things are just cute as hell. So this is Hulk on a little base, um, and the base is just a really simple kind of rock scene. Got a little lizard. Um, gecko guy here that's uh, I guess synonymous with his desert scene um, got some cactus and stuff so he's in a desert kind of like the Mad X Hulk um, so the sculpt on this is awesome uh, there's no scene lines or anything because it's a one piece mold so it just gets molded this way um, I wish he would sign his work <laughs> carve your name into your stuff Troy keep telling you that <laughs> he spent all this time sculpting this and how long does it take you to go Troy McDivitt <laughs> 10 seconds I'm guessing um, so the base is really cool and then Hulk pegs in there perfectly fits absolutely perfectly um, there's no work there to be done to get him to fit I mean it goes right in um, overall size for this guy on the base you know he's small he's only about five inches tall so let's see yeah right at five inches to the top of the head love the expression of Hulk's face um, it's really great I mean cool Nice muscle definitions, kind of got this um, oversized head thing going on, super deformed head looking thing. Love the sculpt on the pants, nice and torn. Um, casting is top notch, his wife does his, 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 his casting for him and uh, as usual the casting is uh, excellent. Um, I've got a few little bubbles here and there I've got to, I've got to fix. Um, not that big of a deal, most of them are on the bottom here. High quality resin, really nicely done. Um, uh, there's a little bit of a mold line, um, which is to be expected, um, so no big deal there. But uh, just great. Love the detail in the foot. Let's see if it'll focus. And, and the toenails. Um, it's really great. I love this, the detail in the pants. Sculpted pocket. Uh, looks like they did. Oh, that's probably where the uh, maybe a, an air vent was or something. A, a vent on the bottom of the, of the butt there. Um, got a little sanded down. No big deal. But he should be a fun piece to clean up, like our paint. And I don't see really. Uh, there's like maybe two or three little bubbles I need to fix. There's like one on one the back of the arm here, and on up here, and on the, on the back of his his on the on his back, and a slight hint of a there's a bubble here and a little bit of a mold line. You know, maybe 30, 45 minutes to clean him up before he's ready to paint. But just really cool. Um, you know, eventually when I have time to paint my own stuff, I'll, I'll do one of these guys. But I've, I've already seen a few of these painted up since Wonderfest. <coughs> so, great. Just love I mean, Troy does great work. I love his sculpting. And he had a new quarter scale hook that he's working on there. That he's working on at Wonderfest. It was a work in progress. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure who's producing it. He didn't, he didn't say. But um, I think it'll be available eventually. So there's Hulk. And then here's the Black Panther. So when I was at Wonderfest, I was... I was looking at Black Panther or the Hulk. And to be honest, what I like about this the most is the base. Um, maybe because of Black Panther, just in general, um, his costume is a simple costume just to begin with. Um, it's kind of a simple design, nothing really crazy. Um, but I love the base, man. I just love the So it's a stone, and it's got a panther in the stone. He's got a chipped tooth. You know, a couple fangs are chipped off, which is cool. Um, or just that one thing is chipped off. Um, that's part of the sculpt. The leaves and everything are sculpted beautifully. Again, a one piece, you know, no mold lines or anything. Again, again, sign the bottom of your stuff, Troy. I guess maybe because you have to sit, you're sanding this smooth. 
you're, it's, you know, maybe your signature gets sanded away. I'm not sure. Um, I have seen uh, other pieces where artists will kind of hide their signature within the base somewhere. You know, it's there, but it's really not n too noticeable. But um, I love when artists sign their work just because, you know, it, you know, gives them credit for what they've done. But I love the vines going over the um, the head of the panther here. And the panther's pose is real cool. It's like he's kind of creeping up the back side of this, this base. Um, again, panther's pretty simple character. Not really much to him. And uh, pretty simple. I mean, there's not a whole, really, uh, not, not much to say really. I mean, it's a good sculpt, but it's, it's a simple character. You know, the costume's simple. Um, you know, like Troy didn't sculpt any like uh, jewelry or anything on him. Like sometimes you see the gold kind of trim around his neck and stuff. Um, but just, he should, he should be a pretty simple paint job there. Um, maybe a little aggressive on the cleaning of the mold line there. Again, I kind of just wish people would leave those alone. Um, little bubble on the butt got to take care of um, But again, just really great little sculpt great little again my favorite part of the base <laughs> And uh, again the height on this guy is he's right at He's just right at five inches also both are right at five inches um, Cool little pieces and he's got, I don't remember the other ones he had there, but he's got a bunch more so I guess he's gonna kind of do what he's doing with his tournaments and do this great little series of little mini kits which are awesome because they're simple they should i say this should be quick paint this will probably like hulk would probably take me a week to do just because i'm so freaking slow <laughs> but you know it, it should be a quick paint up maybe i could get one done in a couple days but knowing me it would take me th three to four days to get one painted but really neat little pieces um so contact troy i'll put a link down below to his facebook page and order yours. I can't remember what I paid for these. I don't, I don't, man, they weren't expensive. I think Hulk was maybe 40 bucks, I think. Not too, I think it was really, really nice, uh, a good price for the quality and the sculpt. And then, like, like I said, Troy was nice enough to send me a Black Panther. Because it took him a while to get to me. It took, you know, almost a month to get to me, which is cool. I mean, he's like, he got, he's like me, he got sick after Wonderfest and he got, you know, bogged down. He didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. So there you go. Two little mini kits from Troy McDivitt. Those are the only things I bought from him at, at Wonderfest this past year. Um, he had a bunch of new tournaments and he had a bunch of these guys. Um, so yeah, but neat stuff as always from Troy. And uh, this is Matt Morozik. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.